So I'm walking now into the very city center of Nemausos. It's really busy here. And I'm entering the very center of it. The Roman Forum of Nemausos. The Forum is just an open space, an open square in the middle of the city. And in Roman times it is usually already um, surrounded by a porticus, so a columned roof, an open space, where you could find shops in the shade and also offices of local administratives. You can still see some remainings of this porticus, so here's a, a basis and of a column, and then the columns are also shown and marked here with these circles. And the ladies back there, they are also sitting of one of the columns. And in the very center of the square was standing this temple. This temple is one of the best preserved Roman temples of that era. And as usually Roman temples are meant to be seen from the front. And we are now looking just at the front of the temple. It's a typical style of a Tuscan temple, which means it, it's uh, sitting on a base and then having here these columns uh, rising up. In front we have six of these columns and then a triangular gable on top and here the architrave, which held an inscription. This inscription is gone, but we can still see the remains of it. In form of small holes here. Here, right here. Those holes were holding the brass letters of the inscription. Yeah, the columns, uh, they have capitals of the Corinthian order and attic bases just standing on the podium. And then having this free staircase rising up to the actual cellar, which is the room holding the stages of the gods. So from the inscriptions, we also know which, to which gods they worshipped here and we know when the temple was built. So we have a reconstruction of this inscription just behind me, I'll show you. And it tells us that it was erected under Augustus for the Principus Juventutis. So the princes of Yao. <laughs> Uh, which were actually his uh, uh, nephew and his uh, adopted grandson, which uh, died at a very young age and became also gods. What we can see here from the side that the front columns, the six lines, they are actually just continued here on three levels and then the actual Roman cellar would start here. From there on, the columns are only halfway formed, so they are half columns. This is typical for Roman temples, uh, in the opposite to Greek temples, where the columns would surround the entire temple. <laughs> and were standing free. Here in the Roman temples, they just made the illusion of these half columns that they would continue all around it. That's why we call it pseudo dipteros and not just a dipteros. Yeah, you, here you can also get an impression of the free square, which used to be the forum. Here used to be the porticus on the side. Yeah, it's a really nice temple. Unfortunately, we can't enter again here. Also, I have to say, usually I get a free entrance as an archaeologist here. They didn't give me a free entrance, but not only that. Also, they sold me a ticket for this thing <laughs> and now I can't enter. So, props to that. 